Yesterday, AMD just dropped beta drivers, version 25.3.2, and this is for 9070 XT and obviously other Radeon cards. What caught my eye is they directly mention virtual reality. They never say VR in their release notes. So I decided to go back and take a quick look at the previous testing I had done last week when I just got my hands on the 9070 XT and a 5070 Ti. And I did my comparison video, which you guys saw here. One of the things that really disappointed me, however, was the 9070 XT's performance. It actually had buggy performance with my Pimax. I wasn't able to figure it out at that point in time. I've since read about other 9070 XT user experiences, as well as feedback from you guys in the channels talking about HAGs, hardware accelerated graphics scheduling, which you can toggle on off, a classic way to fix some problems. With my stripped down test benches, it's rare for me to even measure a difference with HAGs on or off, but in this case, it was causing an issue with the Pimax Play software. So with HAGs off, I was actually able to use Adrenaline Drivers 2531 with the 9070 XT and record some performance. Note that I'm still using the minimum resolution of 0.5 and at 90 Hertz within the Pimax Play software. It's using OpenXR, nothing else. While it's great to have results for the 9070 XT, they're unimpressive. Compared to a 3080 Ti that is running SPS, we see the 9070 XT struggle in comparison. This data suggested to me we're still having an issue with this brand new card from Radeon. And it's gonna take some time to you know figure that out. So I, I, I've gone off, I've, I'm benchmarking Lamont Ultimate right now. Um, I hope to have results for you guys next week. But then AMD dropped that beta driver. So I had to see for myself, uh, are things better? And holy crap, they are better. I've measured a significant improvement in performance with these latest beta drivers. A small caveat to these results is that the 9070 XT in purple is being compared to season one results of 2025. So it's not necessarily a like for like, I just don't have time to go back and redo all of these results, but I will show you the charts anyway. Adding back in the other fast cards, we see that the 9070 XT has closed the gap. Yes, it is still behind a 7900 XTX and the 5070 Ti. Here are my system specs because I can't promise that you are also going to see such an uplift with your hardware in VR using these beta drivers. These results are promising to see and I'm looking forward to more advancement in VR from the Radeon team. So let's go check out the other tracks real quick. With the trucks at Talladega, I measured the pink line representing the 9070 XT to actually separate farther to the right, as in worse performance when compared to the other cars. It seemed to be close to the blue 3080 Ti last time, now not so much. I'm using OpenXR stats to record the performance here. Notice how there's some uh, trail of data to the far left, the pink highlights there. Those might be errors in the data capture. So you know, more testing in the future is required. The third test is my rainstorm at Portimao Algarve with the GT3s. This actually might be the best showing for the 9070 XT and these beta drivers. It seems to have an advantage over the blue line, the 3080 Ti. The red data for the 7900 XTX, that was just captured at a lower data frequency. That's why it looks jaggedy like that. Um, it wasn't that bad, but the 9070 XT has a pretty good showing here. It's not close to the GeForce Advantage with the Fast 5070 Ti or the 4080 Super and SPS. Those two cards were able to deliver on-time performance in this pretty demanding benchmark scenario. It's exciting to see AMD Radeon close the gap in VR, especially iRacing, but the advantage is still clearly to NVIDIA GeForce with this title. Um, there's just no way around that fact, guys. Oh, uh, one last note with the red 7900 XTX is that it is showing a lower FPS average than, than the 9070 XT, but I think, again, that comes back to the data frequency I was using. I'll have to do better job next time to showcase that difference. Well, how about monitors? Do we see a performance increase with this new beta driver and the 9070 XT? And yeah, we do. Here at single 4K, again with my Zanvoort example, we see a significant gain from 124 FPS to 162. 
And then I benched the 7900 XTX to see, wait a second, did performance increase for this card as well? Uh, no, it didn't. I mean, it's down a little bit, but that just shows the margin of error when I do these kind of tests. For my hardware, this 9070 XT all of a sudden behaves like an entirely different card with these beta adrenaline drivers. I've also recorded a FPS gain with triple 1440p resolution. The 9070 XT gained another 24% over the official 3.1 driver. That's crazy from these beta drivers. Once again, the 7900 XTX, it's about the same as before. So if I use the results from the 9070 XT and I compare it to the 5070 Ti, what happens? At single screen resolutions, the Radeons have always performed quite well. And we see that here with the 7900 XTX just trailing behind the 5070 Ti by a couple points. And this adds context to where the 9070 XT sits among them. It's about 20% slower than the 5070 Ti at 162 FPS. But I would still be happy to recommend a 9070 XT with a single widescreen monitor, for example. I think it would perform really well. Let's look at triple screens. We see the 5070 Ti with a clear average FPS advantage pushing 149 at triple 1440p resolution. That is impressive. But we have a glaring issue when it comes to the lows, the 1% low average and the 0.1% low average. I wasn't able to capture it on camera, but this is indicative of a micro stutter. Many of us are quick to scorn AMD and Radeon for their inferior drivers to GeForce. However, hey, there are plenty of examples of problems with GeForce cards, especially the newest RTX 50 series. If I go for the same party trick and disable HAGs with the 5070 Ti, we get our minimums back up to normal. However, notice there is a reduction in GPU busy is interesting, and our overall average has also dropped by 10%. So I'm not entirely sure where to point the finger. Should I point it at Microsoft, Windows 11 24H2, recent monthly updates? It's, it's hard to tell, but I'm also seeing similar problems with Lamar Ultimate. And I've noticed that enabling NVIDIA Surround, I'm able to overcome some of these impacts to micro stutters and those minimums. So that's, that's all I got for now, guys. I want to hear about your experiences in the cockpit. What is your experience like with the 9070 XT or 5070, 5080? What problems have you run into? What solutions have you found? Please post in the comments so we can all kind of share this odyssey together. Catch you in the next one.